guys, so I get asked all the time about my skincare routine and I have been putting this video off probably for a reason which I'm going to tell you right now. I have pretty decently clear skin and so that being said, I get kind of lazy when it comes to my skin. I mean, I try my best to wash my face every night but sometimes if I'm tired and I'm in the shower I just like scrub with my hands all the makeup off my face. And yeah, so I am pretty bad about that, but I do have some products that I like and don't like. And to start off, this is, isn't going to be for everybody. My skin is very sensitive, so in the first place, like, I kind of watch what I put on my skin. But back in middle school, I've talked about this before, I had rosacea, so basically it's like acne under your skin, and it's just red spots. And it got really, really bad sometimes, like, I was so uncomfortable in my skin, like, it would be like red stuff all over my eyes, like around my nose and on my chin. And I still have like slight traces of it, which the makeup covers up. But um, I went to a dermatologist because nothing really seemed to clear it up. And she gave me something, and I'm going to show you what she gave me. If your skin, if you, whatever you're doing just makes your skin worse or just isn't helping and your skin isn't getting any better, I would definitely recommend going to a dermatologist. She gave me like a lotion, like a sterile... Uh, I don't know what it's called, some kind of lotion to put on my face, but she gave me this um, facial, and this is some facial cleanser, I like stop mid-sentence, but this is an MD Forte um, Replenish Hydrating Cleanser, and this is great for sensitive skin, which I have. Anytime my face breaks out, even just a little bit, this takes care of it right away, so this is like my go-to. I, I only use like a tiny, tiny bit because it's all you really need, like a dime-sized amount. Okay, so then my mom and I both use this Vital C Hydrating Facial Cleanser, which is from Image Skincare. This is another high-end one. I will be showing you some more inexpensive alternatives. This also works great on my face. It smells really good. It's kind of like an orangey, citrusy smell. And I like this, and it leaves your skin feeling really clean and like really smooth and soft. So this works really good as well. So I like these two a lot so these are the two that I usually use and then for one that I don't like this is the clear cell I don't know what it's called but this is just like a facial dispenser from clear cell and it comes with two of these and I bought this from Walmart it came with this and two refills for $13 I watched Juicy Star 7's video and she talked a lot about this and she raved about it so this personally did not work for me um, it broke my skin out. I was using it and that's why my face is kind of broken out now. You probably can't even tell because it's like more under the skin. But it also dried out my skin incredibly bad, especially around my eyes. Like right under my eyes, it was like a bunched up of dry skin and also right over here. And it was really bad and it was from, I'm pretty sure it was from this. And, um, and also with the dispensing part, it's supposed to like dispense like the right amount of, um, face wash for you. It dispensed way too much. Um, maybe because my head's small or something. I don't know, but it just gave me way more I felt than it was necessary to wash my face with. So yeah, that's, I didn't like this. I mean, let me know if you tried this and it works for you, but personally, I don't like it. Another product I want to talk about is this Clean and Clear Blackhead Eraser. I have used this a couple times, and that's not the reason I included this. Um, it didn't break my skin out, and this is the oil-free one, and it says see fewer blackheads in just two days, and I don't really have too, too many blackheads, so it's not that big of a deal, but both my stepsister and my sister use this all the time, and they both have different skin types, and this is a drugstore product, so obviously if they both like it, and it, it's probably like a good range for different skin types, so I would recommend trying this out. And then the next thing, the last thing I wanted to talk about, these things are amazing this is like my second pack of these and to fit in like my drawer in the bathroom I took it out of the box so I'm pretty sure they're like Olay facial clean cleanse clean cleansers Olay facial cleansers so this is what they look like they're just like this and this is great for washing your face and taking off your makeup it has soap already on it which is well it would kind of defeat the purpose if it didn't have like remover on it or facial cleanser or whatever on it but um basically you just get this wet you use it all over your face and then what I do is I just um rinse this off and get all like the soap and stuff off of it and then I use it again to like clean my face off sorry I don't know the name I'm pretty sure they're by Olay but it comes in like a blue box 
and you can get it at a drugstore. So I don't really have super secrets or anything. What I can tell you 100%, I do drink a lot, a lot of water. And I notice if I eat a lot of junk food, my skin also breaks out a lot. And I mean like chocolates and just junk food all the time. Um, water though is like the key. I know it's so cliche, but water fixes like a lot of problems you might have. It helps your hair, it helps your skin, it helps like everything. Water is just so good for you. So I hope this kind of helped you just a tiny bit. I know I'm definitely not super good when it comes to skincare, but I just thought I'd share with you since this is probably one of my most requested videos ever. So yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.